Hi, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. All right, Brad, you wanted to talk today about someone who has a buckling knee. Right. And that's a knee that's giving way. Right, basically. right. You know, uh, oftentimes it's after a surgery, a knee surgery, or you were non-weight bearing on crutches for whatever reason, and that one leg gets inherently weak just because of the non-activity. There could be other reasons too, but the symptoms are when you take that step and the knee goes like this and you feel like you're gonna go down and it feels awesome. unstable. Right, and, and sometimes you, people, you will fall, but sure. oftentimes they, they buckle and you catch yourself. Um, and the, typically the reason is, is weak, Quadricep. Right, exactly. How did you know? I, I was just taking a guess. <laughs> so okay. you're, into, you're going to show the top three exercises for this. Well, three best. right. Now these exercises, you do not have to go to the weight room. You don't have to buy expensive equipment and they're very effective. So all we need is, uh, sir, good job. Help us with that ball. Just left throw right in there. Good job. So right. you need a ball about six inches in diameter and you need one that's a little squishy. Okay. To work best. Uh, so one of those kickballs, or this is just one of those real cheap ones from wherever, and it's been around for a while, so it's got stock. Store. Yep, exactly. Two ninety nine. Probably right. get it for two one ninety nine. So we're gonna start out on the floor. You can do this on your bed, but you should do it where you have a firm surface like a carpeted floor works real well. You're gonna take this ball, put it right under your knee. All right. Are you with me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Give them time, okay, everyone's done, okay, now the group is ready. And you're going to keep the heel on the ground, you're not gonna do this, although you could do that, but what we want to get more strengthening is to squish that ball, you can see the ball squish out, I'm keeping my heel on the ground, squish, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. So eight, and then how many repetitions? Would Ten. You Ten. Ten. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, if you're really getting wore out, you only can do five, and you feel, or if you get cramps or something like that, you're going to go less. But uh, six to eight seconds, or if you want to count to ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. It's important to relax for about you know 10, 15 seconds between each set. Okay, that's one way, and obviously it's nice to strengthen, at least to a therapist. Not in an open chain, we call that, in a closed chain. So you take a chair, and what I mean by closed chain is putting weight through that leg. All right. Put the chair up against the door or a solid wall. And if you're real tall, you'll need a taller chair, but you could still do it like this. And what I'm doing is I put my feet up so that you can't see it. So right there, this is touching the back of my calf right there and you simply lean back. And right now, my quadriceps are working quite a bit to hold me up. And that kind of helps duplicate that heel strength. And if this gets too easy, and again, you can do the same frequency and hold time. So again, about hold for eight, eight to 10 seconds, yep. and repeat 10 times. Right, if it's too easy, you can emphasize, and I just toe touch here, and then we're gonna emphasize the weak leg. So you just gotta balance, you need to hold on to a cane or something. Same thing, eight seconds or so, 10 repetitions. And then number three, back to the ball. Put that up against the wall. Putting weight through the leg that you're squeezing the ball with, and you're gonna get your heel pretty close to the door or the wall. And let's see if you can see that. I got weight, bearing weight through that. I'm gonna push, hold, same thing. We're gonna hold that count of eight to 10 and relax. Give it some relaxed time. It's important that you give it rest time. Squeeze again and relax. Then you do 10 of those as well. So three different exercises. You don't have to do all three of them. You could do 10 of all three or you could just start out doing one set uh, but they will definitely get those quads. I can feel my quads right and again, now. I th what I like about Brad, as you mentioned already, is that you're weight bearing through the leg like you would be when you're walking. Right. So it simulates that and it's kicking in at that time. Right. You know, that's, right. You, you know, you can do these, but that's not going to help the, the buckling, you know, incident. Right. So. Yeah, you need that weight bearing through the joint. Right. Place. It gets the hip muscles activated and uh, balanced and all. That's what I'm trying to say, Brad. I'm kind of impressed. You are incredible, yeah, that's Bob. That's amazing that you were able to come up with this. So. <laughs> well, well, 
what, what he's trying to say is we can fix it just about anything except for... We can't fix that broken heart, no matter how we try, we just can't. Yeah, but we're working on it. Yeah, working okay, on we'll, it. we'll let you know a little bit, it'll be a big video then. Yeah.